In this video, I'm going to show you how to create your teacher web page. So, you, first you're going to log on to the North Bergen School District website. And then you're going to choose schools, and you're going to choose the school that you are presently teaching in. So, for example, if I teach in Robert Fulton, I'm going to choose Robert Fulton School. And then I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom until you see the login button. So click on login and make sure you see here the school that you're teaching at, which is Robert Fulton Elementary School. If you logged in under another school by mistake, don't worry, just email Danny Diaz and he will delete that account from that specific school. I'm going to type in my username this would be the username of your school email address. And then type in the password to your school email. Once I log in, you're going to see the EdLeo dashboard. EdLeo is the name of the company that provides our school website and teacher web pages. The first time you log in, I'd like you to click on account choose profile then we're going to choose edit your profile and your username is already set so is your first name and your last name since the username first name and last name is already set for you you should choose position and start typing in your position in your school so if you're a history teacher you could type in history teacher and then choose additional information. Your email is already set as your school email. And then for phone, I would recommend typing in a phone where a phone number where you could be reached at your school. You do not type in your cell phone number. So I'm going to type in where I could be reached at my school. And then if you have an extension number, you could type it in there. And here we could just leave everything blank. Then we're going to click on save. So you have been updated, click on home. Here we are back on the dashboard. Let's click on account again and choose profile. And then since we updated our profile, now we're going to add a photo. Um, you could add a photo of yourself or a photo of something that represents uh, your teaching. So I'm going to click on the little button here, the little pencil icon, and it says drag or select the photo. I'm going to click select the photo. You have options where you could choose your photo from. Mine is saved on my desktop, so I'm going to click select from your computer. And I'm going to choose just a photo, um, the teacher's photo. Click on open. And just make believe this is me, okay? This is my professional photo. You could crop it the way you want it to look. Click Crop and Save. And here is your photo. This will be the photo that everybody sees on your profile. Okay, now we're going to click on Account. Then we're going to go back to Dashboard. Now the reason why we edited our information, our, our name and our email address and um, our phone number and a photo of ourselves is because when you click on your school and parents navigate the staff, if you click on staff and just start typing in the teacher's name, this is the information that they see. They see your name, which was already supplied for you. They see your title. They have their email address, which was already provided for you, and it has a phone number for easy access. If I click on the name, you can see now this is the information that we're going to be setting up. Our information is right here, our email, our phone number, and then these are the pages that we're going to add. Welcome is always the home page, and then you can start adding other pages on your web page. So if we go back now to Robert Fulton, dashboard. We're going to start adding pages. So we're going to click on pages. And as you can see here now, we do not have any pages. The pages are still blank. So let's click on add page. And we're going to choose what a blank page, which is going to be our welcome page.
Okay, so this is going to be the first page of our teacher web page. So let's type in a nice title, like such as introduction or welcome. So this is the name of our page, which will be welcome. That this is going to be the first page that parents see. Now, here we could drag either a picture, a file, or content, which is text. So the first thing we should always do is just add a text box. So we're going to click on T, content, and here is our text. So by clicking on T, content, it adds a little text box. Within this box, you could type in a little introduction about yourself. Okay, so I started typing in information. I put my name the grade level I teach, what room I'm in, the days of extra help, parent conferences, and special subjects. You could edit your text however you want by navigating to the tools up here. You could put bold, italic, change the alignment. You could put bullets, text color if you want to change the color of your text. Make it bold. If you want to include a hyperlink, you could hi highlight you could highlight a specific word and choose hyperlink and start typing in your URL. You could change the font sizes. Formats. You could insert tables, videos and pictures also. Every once in a while, just make sure you keep, just keep on clicking save on the top. So once you've typed in your first text box, you actually could see how your web page is going to look to the public by clicking on actions and then public view. You could see here you have the name of your page and the text that you had just wrote. You don't have to include your email on your web page because on the little ID box here already has your email and the phone number. And if and if parents want to subscribe to any changes you make on your website, they could click on subscribe. If you'd like to insert a picture on the bottom, you could choose insert add an image. Choose a picture. Make sure you add all text. Make sure you don't skip the alt text field. History picture. And then dimensions. You can start playing with different sizes. Click OK. And here's your picture. You can also drag it to how large you want. And then center it by highlighting it and clicking on Align. Click on Save. If you want to include photos underneath your name, which let's take a look. Some teachers like to include photos right underneath their photo ID box. If we click here and we add Gallery, you can start uploading different photos. I saved a couple photographs on my computer, so I'm going to click on Upload, choose my computer, and just choose the pictures that I'd like. We could choose Rotate or Stack. Make sure you choose the Alt Text. You have to choose an Alt Text to put in. History, Photo, Save. If you want to put another picture, go to your desktop or wherever you saved it. Choose your picture. Click on Alt. Put some alt alternate text. Click on Save. And then choose Save. And we could take a look to see how it looks. Choose public view. You can see now that it is like a rotating little slider. If 
you want to make your text a little bit fancier, you could choose different colors. And so on. Now we're going to click Save. Remember, our welcome page is always going to be the first page that parents or other teachers see. I just wanted to add a little tip of what you could include on your welcome page is the fact that you are using Google Classroom. This is just something that you could type in, just an example, that you're using Google Classroom to post announcements, homeworks, and assignments. Um, you're having parents be aware of the Guardian email summaries that Google Classroom does provide. So this is a really important statement that you could type in. In order to sign up for Google Classroom Guardian summaries, please email me so that you can start receiving summaries. So what I did is I highlighted email me and I chose the link at top. And then you just start typing in mail to colon and then you put in your school email address. And then for target you're going to choose new page and then click OK. If you don't include mail to that's okay. Ed Leo will insert it for you. This is just simply prompting the page to, when they click on email me, it's going to prompt them to actually open up their email address so they could email you. So if we get rid of it and we click OK, it's going to tell you the URL you entered seems to be an email address. You want to add the required mail to prefix. Click OK, and you could see here that Ed Leo actually included mail to. So if we click OK, just make sure you click on save and then if you go to actions public view you'll see that email me is highlighted it's underlined and if the parent clicks on email me or if they click up send email it'll actually open up into their email provider and they'll have your email address and then they could start typing to you, you know, please add me as my child's guardian or parent. Once the guardian has emailed you their email address, you just open up the email that they give you, click on this little arrow here, just copy their email, either copy it this way or just write it down. I'm copied and I'm clicking copy. I'm going to go into my Google Classroom. Here's my stream, classwork, people page. I'm going to navigate to the people page. Where it says a student's name, you're going to click on invite guardians. And just right click, paste in their email. And click on invite. That parent will now get an email informing them that you invited them as a guardian and they will accept it. And then their name will be added here. If it still says invited, that means the parent never opened the email and clicked accept. So let's go back to dashboard, choose pages. And now you can see you only have one page right now. If you click on it, it'll take you right to the editing. If we go back, you have other options here to edit, to look at it in public view. You could even look at the page history unpublish or delete your page if you've made a mistake. So let's actually add another page. And now we have different options here. I would recommend clicking again blank page. And this one we're going to choose now education. You want to be proud of the education that you've gone through. Taking college courses, what degrees you have. So let's choose education click on content and then start listing your educational background so parents could see you know where you went to college and what type of degrees you have. It's always good to show parents this. So here's just an example of um, somebody's education and this is really good for parents to see just where their their child's uh, teacher actually obtained their degree and where they went. So we're going to click on save. Now if we go back to our dashboard click on pages, 
you can see now we have two pages. If we click on Add Page, I just want to show you, many teachers um, actually make up their own teacher web page from a different platform. Um, let me show you an example of that. Okay, this is, this is actually a teacher in a high school's um, page that she made on Weebly.com, and Weebly is just another um, online platform where you could create web pages. So this teacher didn't want to make um, a web page on Edleo here. So she created her own page. Now if you did already made your own page on a different web website platform, if you click here, link to another page, you could choose the title of the page and then you would put in the link to that web page. So we're going to click here, paste it in, and then we would choose save. Now, let me show you if you did create your own web page and you don't want to choose Edleo as your teacher page platform, you would put this at the top of your pages. This way, when a parent clicks on your teacher name, and let me just show you how that looks. So if, if a parent is searching for your teacher web page, you know, they would choose the school and then choose staff directory and then it would start typing the teacher's name. If we clicked on that teacher name now, it would automatically go to your web page. Because remember, on here you put the outside link as your first page. Okay? And if this did happen, we would actually delete the rest of these pages because we don't need them because it's going to direct it's going to link directly to your teacher web page that you created on the other platform. Okay, now let's click on Add Page again. And you, you have here, which we went over to Blank Page. That's just to add, you know, blank pages to your, to your web page. And we went over so far the top two. The Blank Page is when we, when we want to add different web pages to your teacher website. And we went over this, if you have already a teacher website that you already created on another platform, you would just simply link to that page. On the bottom here, you could either create a feature page of either videos, photo albums, a calendar, or a page that contains specific link links. So if we choose photo album, say that you have, um, you know, you went on a field trip, and you want to showcase the pictures from that field trip. Okay, so in order to create an album, just make sure you first save um, the pictures of your photo album in a folder on your desktop before we start, we start uploading them to our album. So let's click on Create Album, type in the name of your album, click OK, and now it prompts us to upload our photos. So we can click on Upload, computer. Here's our photos. I'm going to start adding them. Click on upload and start adding your other photos. A shortcut is if you choose the photo that you want and then choose shift on your keyboard, hold it down and then choose the other photos. It'll select all of them. Click on open and it'll upload those three photos. Okay, once you upload your photos, just click on All Done, see your photos. And now if we choose them, we have to choose an alternate text or they won't show up on our photo album. So click on Alt. Click on Save. The next one. Choose an alternate text. 
next alternate and then your alternate text for your last one. Save. Okay, now if we, if we go back on our technology visit photo album, we could take a look at now, if we go back to our dashboard, click on pages, here's our photo album. This is where it's listed. You click it, and you could see all your photos. And if you want to um, delete any of them, just choose delete. Or if you want to add new photos, click on upload. If you go back to dashboard, click on pages, choose welcome. We could choose to see how our page, our website looks. Go to public view. You can see here now if we move down, we have our welcome page again, which is our first introduction page because it's on the top. Our education page is listed here. And then our photo album. Click on your photo album here. And users could just click on each photo. Make sure to just keep clicking save to save your progress. And at the top here, you could toggle on if you want to unpublish a page or keep it published. If this is not selected, it'll say published with the open eye. This means that the public cannot see your page. Okay, so as you're working on your page, maybe you could keep it unpublished because you're not finished with it yet. And just make sure you click on published after you're finished. So just make sure when you're finished making your changes, you choose published. Let's go back to our dashboard, click on pages, and we could add a page. And now if we choose links, this is very good for adding um, specific links like homework help or maybe specific links that you want parents to see. So this is just really links that you could add to your page. So if we click on add link, you have the main option or you could just choose history, help, history. You could name the page and I'll show you an example. So say that we want to include the History Channel. We could just type in History Channel and then copy the URL. Right click copy and then right click paste. It even shows you a test to see if you want to test if the page is working. It opens up that page. Sometimes we, we actually type in the wrong URL. For description you don't have to put in something. It's optional but um, that's up to your dis discretion. I'm going to put a description as So this was the description that I typed in. Just click on save. And now you could start adding another link. Again, we could choose which category we want. We have history already. If you want a new category, you could just type it in. Okay, here I included the iCivics page. I could just type in iCivics. Description, I could just paste it in, and then the URL, you just copy the URL, right click, copy, then right click, paste it in, click 
click on Save. So now we have two websites on our personal links. So if, if you want to take a look to see how it looks, we can go to Dashboard, click on Welcome, choose Public View, and now here you can see your links page, and these are the links that are listed. Okay, if we click on Pages again, um, and again, these are the options here. You could switch the order of your pages if you want education to be last, or maybe your photo album last and your links second. You could just move them around, but always make sure your welcome or introduction page is at the top. You do have options here to either edit it, if you want to see the public view page history, maybe you you edited it so many times and you want to go back to a different time. If you click on page history, it'll show you all the specific times that you edited the page. If we click on the first one, third one, you can see here, if you really like this, this was the one that you want to go back to, you can click on restore this version. It's kind of like the Google Docs. Um, revision history. You also have the option to unpublish if you don't want it to be um, public to the web or you could just delete the page. So ideally for you to have a really great teacher website you could just start adding different pages such as a supply list, a supply list that the students what they need to get before they come into your class. You could add class rules. To go back, click on your name. You can start seeing your links. You can start seeing your pages piling up change the order. And what I would suggest is putting in a parent portal page, a direct link to the parent portal, although it's listed on the North Bergen School District website, it's always good to have on your page. So we could choose link to another page and we could put parent portal If we go back to our Fulton website, we see parent portals right here. Click on right click, copy link address, and then paste it in. Right click, paste. Choose open in another tab because you don't want them to navigate away from your page. And then click on save. So if we click on welcome and if you want to take a look at how it looks click on public view now you could see here your welcome page and you have all your other links class rules supply list links parent portal and your photo album parents could just click on them and see what information that you have supplied I just want to show you the help page that Ed Leo provides for you. And I think if you click on beginner, it'll show you some really great tips on how to improve your page. Best practices for teacher web pages is a must that I would read. We've done everything on here. We post the biography, profile photo. You can even upload rubrics to your page. So I think I've covered all the basics. If you need any information on creating or editing your teacher website, please contact me. You could also contact Danny Diaz or Jared Kasheshian, or please visit your school's technology teacher.